Hi friend. So as you may know, I sell books on eBay, specifically used books, in case you're wondering. And our system's working out really well. We have storage units where we keep our books. We have another storage unit where we like keep, like if we go on a huge trip and get like a van full of books, we'll put all the books into the storage unit and then we'll bring them here and slowly go through them. And everything that's listed is put away nicely and organized and we have a number system to keep it in the right place and easy to find, right? There shouldn't be a problem. Unfortunately, the problem is the books that we bring here to go through slowly, sometimes we're not going through them as slowly as we should be. And so they'll just start stacking up here. And so our spare bedroom is just a complete and utter mess because we're just stacking all like the leftover stuff and the stuff that like isn't worth money to sell on its own but like if you put it with something else it's worth money so we're saving them for the things to put with it to make it worth money worth money for us because we have um a very specific amount of money we're willing to sell a book for even if it's like on sale or whatever this room it's funny because they're in the in the far corner is where I ship out things every single day. So that part of the room is like neat and clean and organized, or at least neat and clean and organized enough to be usable, right? And like not have chaos. But the rest of this room, chaos. And it's funny because like I will come in here every once in a while to like make lots and get lots. And so like I'm in here often, but I get so overwhelmed so easily because it's such a mess that it's hard for me to like want to even like try to touch it. Now it's time because I've waited months of like being in here but not actually like making this place cleaner or more organized. If we wait too much longer some of this stuff could get destroyed and we get, we don't want it getting destroyed because we'd like to sell it eventually. Sorry there's a thing in my camera lens. <laughs> Most likely sell it rather than just like getting rid of it. But I will be getting rid of a bunch of books that we've just had for years and aren't like finding the things we need to put with it to sell. So I know I'm going to be getting rid of a ton of stuff. I know I'm going to be making lots as I go. And I know that I also want to like organize not absolutely every single shelf because that would be ridiculous because there's too many shelves and too much of a mess. But I would like, sorry, this thing on my lens really is messing with my mind. So I know like I'm not gonna like, organize every single shelf, but there's a bunch of shelves that I do need to organize. And then the few shelves that aren't like organized, organized, they still need to look neater and nicer and like, be able to see everything on them so that I can like over time organize them. I have a plan but let's see how far this plan gets me you know. Oh my gosh it's so bad right now it's so overwhelming like and I've like the worst part is is I've come in this room and like tried to start multiple times like I'll spend a few minutes cleaning here or cleaning there or and yet I can't tell so no one of course no one else is going to be able to tell. It's really frustrating how bad it is right now. So I need to start. Stop talking about it and get started. And another aspect of this is like because I have like these vintage um old picture books and the picture books are harder to keep looking nice because once you have a few of them it's hard to see what they are. We're gonna this one, this one, this one. Oh because that's a lot right there. So that, see, already made a lot. Got this. Just have to go slowly. It's gonna be okay. Seriously, I need to film this, otherwise I'm never gonna do it. It's like, oh, I could put this in my picture books. But this is um, the French version of Cinderella. So that might not work with those picture books. Anywho, let's get started. <laughs>
confuse you? I put my cl cleaning hoodie back on. Um, but it is now four days later. Four. However, we have done it. This room is so much cleaner, so much neater. It's definitely not perfect, but it's usable. I can see where everything is. The floor is clean. I'm not actually going to trip and kill myself. Yeah, I uh, do have footage of this, but I decided I'm not going to put it in this video. So I'm just going to tell you the first day I... Um, was cleaning the floor and I spent like 30 minutes cleaning just a small section of the floor. Let's say I was so excited that like I walked around the pink bookshelf that I got rid of. I walked around that pink bookshelf and I was like, yay, like we have some clean floor, woo! And then I started to walk back and I tripped and fell and hurt myself badly. So yeah, that's fun. Yes, we did get rid of that pink bookshelf because it was tall enough where it was ca causing like an obstruction to the rest of the room that we couldn't like it was easy to hide a bunch of books on that shelf and like just throw things on the floor behind that shelf and pretend like everything was fine and it wasn't fine so now I just have those little those um few crates that are on the floor which are definitely a more temporary solution. I think they're good for now. They're good for now. <sighs> we did it. Like, I still can't even believe it. Thank God. Um, and thank you for coming with me on this journey because it's literally, like, the only reason that I even attempted to try because I was so overwhelmed. So, so overwhelmed. On day two or day three, my mom came in and she's like, things look different in here. I'm like, yeah, I'm starting to clean it. And she's like, uh-huh. So apparently it didn't look cleaner, but it uh, looked different. Woo! I'm just really happy. As you can tell by my, my hair. When, when I'm super happy, my hair just gets crazy. I think that's it for now. But thank you so much for coming on this journey, like I said. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy.